The future of payments used to be all about the next big gadget, a watch, a ring, a phone. But now at a major fintech conference here in Amsterdam, gadgets are a lot harder to come by. That's because one of the biggest trends in the payments industry is called biometrics. All you need to make a payment, your face, your voice, your fingerprint, maybe even your heartbeat. Hello, Nomi. Please verify my identity. There we are. Successful. Now you'd be able to go ahead and continue with the payment, you whatever you're doing with your day. Go ahead and buy something. It's that simple. You were literally just using your face and your voice to make that payment. Face and voice, you always have them with you, you can't forget them. Instead of entering a PIN or a password, you would use your face or the voice is another option. Verify my identity. Biometrics like your voice are increasingly being used to authenticate payments from devices like mobile phones. And thanks to home assistants like Amazon Echo or Google Home, voice payments are becoming a fast and easy way to make purchases without ever leaving the house or even the sofa. It's basically teaching computers to understand your voice and match that voice to your identity. So that now through a simple voice command, you'd be able to say, Alexa, please buy so-and-so for me. And then Alexa would be able to say, yep, that's Steve Ritter's voice. I'm going to go ahead and, and make that purchase for him. Research shows voice assistants are most commonly used to seek information, like the news or the weather, and to play music or videos. But retail is becoming a bigger function, with 35% of consumers using voice to buy products like groceries, home care, or clothes. The voice shopping market is expected to grow to $40 billion in 2022, up from $2 billion today. And right now, it's dominated by a few big players, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. If you become, as a provider, like the top payment method of one of those large platforms, the probability that you really outbeat everything and everybody in the market is quite high. Sorry, I don't know that one. But there are still obstacles to making purchases with just our voices. Just as easy it is for me to make a payment using my voice and my Amazon account, um, somebody else could use that uh, to make purchases either for theft um, or maybe more um, importantly, money laundering. Some experts say biometrics aren't the problem, they're the solution to making payments safer. The most common password is one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Biometrics actually changes the consumer experience and actually makes it more secure too. With a recent survey showing 93% of consumers prefer biometrics over traditional passwords, it might not be too long before voice payments go mainstream. Hey everyone, Elizabeth here. Thanks for tuning in. What do you think about the future of payments? Would you use your voice to buy something? Let us know in the comments section. And be sure to check out more of our videos over here. Talk to you later.